Uh, Macy, how wonderful to meet you via Zoom. How are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Well, you're talking to me from New Zealand, correct? Correct. How is the weather there? <laughs> Actually, it's supposed to be um, like going into winter, but it's actually quite nice. It's quite like wet. It's quite rainy, but it's really humid. Um, so it's quite warm, which is really nice. And back home, it's supposed to be going into summer, but they've been having storms at the moment. So I've kind of, I've missed that. I'm kind of in the nice weather, which is nice. Yeah, we're kind of, I'm, in, I'm, I'm speaking to you from Toronto, Canada. So we've kind of got the same thing going as the UK, you know, so cold, rainy, hot. It's insane. But anyway. <laughs> What can you do? We take what we can get. I want to congratulate you so much on this series. I've been able to watch uh, many of the episodes and you're just fantastic in it. And I wanted to ask you, um, from what I understand, my dear, you actually had never really ridden before when you got this role. Like you were not a champion rider and an expert. So what was it about it that, you know, that you clinched the deal? <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I, I mean, I really liked, like, as soon as I read the scripts and I knew there were horses involved, I was so excited because, I mean, my friends had horses, so I was always kind of around them, but like you said, like, my riding was not up to date and it wasn't, like, the best. Um, but, yeah, like, as soon as I saw it had sent to your horses, I was like, that is so cool because also I think, like, it's a new skill to that you can, like, and so I did um, I did a, I got a recall for the show and then we did horse riding lessons up to when I left and that's kind of where I like learned and then when I came to New Zealand the other cast members hadn't ridden either they had no experience and so we did kind of group lessons which was really cool and really funny because we were all kind of at the same level um, so, and it's been really nice to see everyone's journey and how confident everyone is now riding from yeah. where we was at the start. <laughs> Well, for sure. I mean, it's it's not hard. You know, there's certain things when you take on as an actor, like, okay, I think I can learn that, you know, but getting on a horse, like, and, and making it look, you know, I, I get the real hard stunts. It's not you. I get it. Everybody knows it, but it doesn't matter. It, you're still doing some pretty, pretty heavy lifting there. What was it like the very first time you got on and you knew like you, you really had to commit to this? How, what was the feeling like? So, uh, that's fine because we kind of started from basics and worked our way up. But the hardest thing for me was so I was um, riding this like one horse every lesson, yeah. and then the riding instructor was like, Okay, we're going to ride another horse. And I was like, No way. Like, my heart dropped. I was like, No, because like you get used to that horse and what it likes, what it doesn't like, what to do and what not to do. And so then riding different horse, that was what scared me the most. Mm -hmm. um, and then I got used to that horse and then obviously came out here and had to ride cash, which is yes. place. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it's kind of like, it's like kind of, kind of like restarting again. Like that was like the thing that worried me the most. But now obviously um, I've been with cash throughout the whole of series one. I'm really confident with him now. I trust him, even though sometimes he can be quite naughty. But wow. I love him for all of that yeah <laughs> absolutely because I was going to ask you you know it's one thing bonding with your human co-stars but what is it like when you know you have to bond with an animal it's kind of scary I mean I don't bonded with an animal before I mean I've had like I have a pet dog um it's a Jack Russell for Brian. he's really cute and really sweet um but like and like an animal as big as a horse and I, like the thing is because they're so big and they can really hurt you like if they wanted to um it was like it was just it was just wishing that I am good like hoping that I'm gonna bond with it and that we'll like each other and it'll be really well behaved and that yeah it was it was definitely like really nervous but I was so excited to be able to like form a bond with it as well because I think it's really re rewarding once you know that you have had that bond and that like the horse trusts you and you trust them because you see it a lot with the horse wranglers here on Mystic. Um, you see the like relationship and the bond that they have with the horse, and it's so sweet to witness. Yeah. So having that, obviously, with one of the horses as well is really cool. 
Yeah, yeah, well, we're lucky that we're going to get this in Canada coming up this coming weekend. So that's fantastic. And I and everybody is so excited about it. Um, and it's a great family show. That's the one thing I do love so much about it. It's, you know, you can watch it together with your family, but it, it has aired and in other parts of the in other countries, and it's getting a really great following and, and, and people are really connecting with it. Why do you think they are they are connecting? What, do you, what is it about the show or the characters that you think? I think what it is, is that we have such a different range of characters and personalities. And I think that's really great because anyone can like find an aspect of a certain character that they can relate to. And also what I think is good is that um, the different generations in the show. So um, Izzy's gran and Izzy's mum and then Izzy. It's like um, you can watch the show as a family with your parent and their young child or their nan or something like that um and like I feel like as much as it's a kid's show there's also like it's also not your stereotypical kid's show right. like there's drama and like real life situations that are put into it as well so I feel like any age can kind of watch it um I know my friends I mean I don't know if it's just because they're supporting me but they say that they quite like the show especially my friends that have horses themselves or have ridden in the past um, yeah, I'm not sure if that's just bias because I'm their friend and if they want to be polite or... I'm sure they're being very supportive of you. Yeah, I'm sure I'm sure they're not lying. It is a good show. They they are not <laughs> fooling around with you for sure. I wanted to ask you, you know, the show started shooting and then of course COVID came and everything had to shut down. And then mm -hmm. you were lucky to be able to pick it up. And so, you know, some people are going to start seeing the, the end of season one. Um, but what is that like for you as an actor? Like you're in the mode and especially that you had trained to work on the horse and then shut down. How do you kind of no pun intended, get back up on that horse and start again, you know, when, when you were allowed to shoot. It was really hard because as well as kind of you being like acting that character, also with the rest of the cast, like we're taking that time to bond and like just as we're like getting really close and like having a good friendship, like then we stopped and then obviously I had to fucking just like visit them and stuff like that. So that was kind of like the hardest. And also I was so upset because I was so nervous that I would be able to get back. Because obviously no one knew anything about COVID at that time and like what the situation was going to be or with travel, whether we'd be able to continue. So I was really scared that like maybe I would be able to come back or like carry on filming. Um, but also like as an actor as well, like when once you're in the kind of like, what's the word? Like you're kind of in the, in the moment. moment. With, yeah, yeah. yeah. And then you like suddenly stop. When you come back, you have to kind of re get into that character and like get back up on the horse and like retrain with the horse. Because also the horses had a break too. Like they were just chilling because of COVID and, For sure. and it was the winter. And so they were having to be like retrained as well. Um, so everyone had to kind of like start back up again and um, find where we left off. I think that was one of the hardest things too, is like remembering what right. kind of mood you were in and like where the story was at that point and what you had done before um but yeah I'm just really grateful that we were able to start filming again and like finish the series because it would have been a bummer to like um just finish where we left off right. I mean luckily enough it, enough it was a um it was like a natural finish like it could have been another episode which there really wasn't like an ending or a cliffhanger yeah um so we were lucky that it landed on that episode. Um, but yeah, it's just been really great to be able to come back and to finish the season. Yeah, I'm sure. Um, so for Canadians, we want them to watch. We want them to tune in. So tell tell Canadians why they why they should watch the show and you know what you can tease a little bit about it. Sorry, you broke up then. I didn't that's really okay, that's okay. I'll do it again. I know the internet is, is you know, it's Zoom. What can you do, right? Just if we want <laughs> Canadians to watch the show, obviously. So <laughs> tell, tell us a little bit about why they should and give us maybe a little teaser of, of what we can expect from the series. I think, um, I think people should definitely watch the show because I think it's really, um, it's really, it's really educational. I mean, I feel like Mystic is very different from other kids TV shows and because it focuses really a lot on the environment and the impact that we have on the environment. And I think that it was important for kids to be able to watch it and to see like 
the slightest thing that they can do to help the environment. And also seeing kind of Izzy's journey and how even um, how she kind of starts off quite negatively um, and she kind of hates the change. She hates change that change can actually be a good thing and it can come with a lot of benefits too. Right. Um, yeah, I think it's just, I think it'd be really important for kids to watch. And for season one, um, there is a lot of drama. Sure. Obviously a lot of horses. There's a little love triangle. Um, and yeah, there's a, there's a lot of arguments. So that's why, that's another reason you should watch it. It's really interesting. <laughs> Lots to look forward to. Listen, I really appreciate your time today, Macy. We, uh, it's, it's been a pleasure to talk to you and, and maybe one day I'll get to New Zealand and then we can, you know, I'll come to the set and you can teach me how to ride. How does that sound? 100%, I would love to. Not, I don't know if I'd be that good, but I'd love to. <laughs> that's okay. You're going to be way better than me. I can assure you that for sure. <laughs> Thank you so much for your time. I really Thank appreciate you. it. And best of luck with everything. Nice to speak to you. Thank you so much. You okay, too. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.